The Phantom G has a built-in USB audio and MIDI interface, and this is a great addition because that means you can use the Phantom G to control your favorite software packages. In this video, I'll show you how to do that with Ableton Live. We'll control Ableton Live's soft sense from the Phantom G, and also I'll show you how to sync Ableton Live to the Phantom G's audio MIDI recorder. Okay, the first place we're going to go is to the Phantom G's studio mode. And we're going to then create a new studio setup. And to do that, let's go to Bank, click on Preset, and we'll change that to User. And then Studio Set Number, let's choose an empty studio set. In case of my Phantom G, I'll choose number 20. All right, now next place we want to go is let's click on F6 and flip the mixer. We're looking at the internal mixer right now. So what we want to do to be able to send out and control external devices, we don't want to use the internal mixer because that's for controlling the Phantom G's internal sounds. We want to click on external because that's the mixer that we use to control external devices. There's 16 channel strips in the external mixer and each channel strip corresponds to a MIDI channel number. So in the case of the example I want to do with Ableton Live, I want to control a soft synth in Ableton Live using MIDI channel 5. And in order to activate that channel, I need to click on Keyboard Switch in order to send out MIDI on channel 5. Now notice the Keyboard Switch is set on channel 1. Let's just click over to that and turn that off. Click back on channel 5, and now we'll be sending exclusively MIDI on channel 5 to our external device in Ableton Live. So now let's flip over to Ableton Live. First place that you want to go to is to Preferences. Go to Preferences and choose the MIDI Sync tab. Go to where it says MIDI Port and look for the Roland Phantom G and select all three options, Track, Sync, and Remote. And then for Output, same settings. Turn Track, Sync, and Remote to On. So to insert a new track, we go to the, to the Insert menu, choose Insert MIDI Track, open the new track, and there's very simple settings to make, and then the same every time you create a new track and assign a new soft synth to the track in Ableton Live. First we go to where it says All Instruments, and we can keep that to its default setting, so that doesn't have to change. All Channels, in this case we're going to choose Channel 5, because that's the channel strip that we're using in the Phantom G. To input the signal, prior to recording or to be able to monitor it, I choose IN. And next, let's assign our soft synth to the track. And the soft synth that I want to choose in this case is, let's go to this instrument, and we'll choose this soft synth. And now, with the input setting clicked here, if I play the Phantom G, we'll be able to play the soft synth. So to record, I'll close the soft synth. Let's change input now to auto. Set the track for record. Make sure that Ableton Live is rewound. Click on record and play and begin recording. And click on stop. Now let's lay down another track in Ableton Live using a soft synth and we'll use MIDI channel 6 to control that soft synth. So let's click on keyboard switch to turn off channel 5. Let's click on 6 and click on keyboard switch and now we'll be sending MIDI out exclusively on MIDI channel 6. So we'll go to insert, insert MIDI track open that. Remember, keep all instruments the same, this tab. We'll go to all instruments and set this channel, excuse me, this track to channel 6. Set our input monitoring to on, and let's choose now this instrument. So let's record this. 
We'll click on Rewind, switch to Auto, choose Record, and now we'll, be we'll begin recording. And click stop, and we'll rewind and listen back. If we want to sync Ableton Live to the Phantom G, or in other words, start and stop Ableton Live with the transport controls on the Phantom G, we do that by making just a couple of settings in the Phantom G's system menu. And to do that, you can always access the system menu in the upper right hand corner. Let's click on this icon and we'll get the main system menu. Click on system and then we're going to go to sync tempo. And the settings that you want to have in the Phantom G's sync tempo page is to have sync mode set to master, sync output set to on, and if you have the Phantom G's USB connection between the Phantom G and your computer, you want to have clock source set to USB. And then MMC mode, by default that's set to master, you can keep that on master. MMC output, you can keep that off. And then all the other parameters, by default, you can keep those as they are. If we want to put Ableton Live in external sync mode, click this button, which is to the right of the metronome icon. We want to go to our external mixer and we want to click keyword switch and turn that to off. And now let's flip over to the internal mixer. We'll flip the channel switch, the channel strip, and let's choose track 10. That's where we'll lay our drums down. And now we're ready to record our drum part. We'll click on record and we'll keep the settings as they are. Loop switch on. I'll record four measures. And the minute we press start, Ableton Live will follow the Phantom G. And press stop and OK. And when we hit play on the Phantom G, Ableton Live will play in sync. When I press stop on the Phantom G, Ableton Live stops.